It's actually really crazy to think how much time I don't have left in this house. Hello team, happy insert day of the week here. Today we are going to do a tour of my current house. Now, I will say that my house is not Pinterest worthy. My house is not super aesthetic. It's lived in, it's a bit of a mess, and you know what, that's okay. I think we need to share more realistic expectations of households on the internet, so yes. Today we are going to be doing a walkthrough of my current place, mainly for memory keeping for myself, but also because you guys might be interested too. You've seen aspects of my house before, but you haven't necessarily seen it all put together. I think that's enough talking, we should really just get into it, so let's go start this tour up the top of the driveway. You know, I really should have worn my sunglasses outside because it's freaking bright. Welcome to the driveway team. So as you can see down there is our house. <laughs> I'm seriously gonna miss this view when we move. Well, like not the, not the container thing or the dirt, but like over there. Well, I certainly won't miss you. <laughs> You can see here is the car deck that caused much controversy. So this is where our neighbors park and over here is where Vogel and I park. Vogel attached that reflector strip because people kept tripping over it in the dark. Problematic. So as you can see, we do have a joined property. That one is our neighbor's space. This one here is ours. So up here is our third level. Down there is our like entry level or like middle floor. And then underneath that is the ground floor. So you can see top level, middle level, ground level. So here's our neighbor's front door and our front door featuring, I don't know, glass recycling bins and a welcome mat to wipe your feet on. Here's typically where I like to have my parcels delivered because there are too many thieves in my neighborhood and I've had stuff stolen out of my letterbox. So yes, safer. So here you can see we have our front alcove area. We used to have a shoe rack in here, but the dehumidifier was better served in this space. So we moved it. Coming into the middle level through the front door though, we have the main bathroom, the whole cupboard and our main bedroom. This bathroom we completely got redone when we moved in because it was awful. If I can find some pictures, I'll chuck them up on the screen for you. But so we got a new vanity, new flooring, a new shower, and a new toilet. The original bathroom had this like super fun thing where it was that bath shower kind of combo, but the piece of glass that was supposed to stop it from water going onto the floor wasn't actually long enough. So floods. It also didn't have any kind of ventilation. So anytime you had a shower by the end of your shower, it was like water dripping down the walls. Not ideal. So really this bathroom is just way better. Coming out of the bathroom though and back into the corridor, we have the closet that I mentioned before. Aforementioned closet. So this one you can see is mainly for our vacuum cleaner, towels, sheets, that kind of stuff. We also have some uh, memorabilia from my Scentsy days. That was a short lived venture, but I still do keep my Scentsy in here and it makes the cupboard smell nice, so. Closing that one up though and moving into the bedroom. Dun dun dun. For our main bedroom, this of course has the bed. It also has the aforementioned shoe rack. We also have our telly in here, our tall boy, our set of drawers. And it also comes with a built-in closet. If you guys want to see a closet tour at some point, let me know. I don't have a huge amount of clothes, but I don't know, might be something interesting to share. Here's where we duct taped the window because there was a draft getting in and we didn't really want to have that while we were trying to sleep. The thing that I'm probably going to miss the most about this place is going to be the view because I love being able to just look out over Johnsonville. Ugh. And it's like way better at night. I'll cut some footage in for you because... Coming out of the bedroom though, it's then up the stairs and onto the top level. Another window for a view of Johnsonville. Also featuring nighttime mode. Art. So on the top level here, we have the other bathroom, the other hallway closet, the spare bedroom, and over here is the office. We got this bathroom redone at the same time as the last one. It is a fair bit smaller, but it still has space for a shower, it has the sink, which was already here, we didn't replace that, and the toilet. This toilet has a super fun issue in that because the pipe that comes off the toilet, you know, when you flush, is quite long horizontally, it doesn't flush as well as it could. But it tries. 
Coming out of the bathroom though, and then back into the hallway, we have the whole cupboard. In this one, we've got stuff like quilts. We've got some old towels, beach towels, extension cable. Behind that white board there, which is an old shelf. It even says shelf on it, how handy. I used to use that shelf to take my Instagram pictures, but behind that one, we also have our board games. And then we've also got stuff for like wrapping presents and things like that. <laughs> Into our next room though, we have the spare room slash home gym featuring elliptical and spare bed and Vogel's laundry it seems. This one features beautiful views of the road and has these like annoying slanting windows so you can't put proper curtains up, you have to use these blinds. This one also comes with an inbuilt closet but people had this issue where they would twist the door rather than pull the door so we needed a label. Probably doesn't help that it's really bloody difficult to open. <laughs> Excellent. This is where we store Vogel's excess Lego, spare telly, and we've got some Halloween decorations. <laughs> oh. Coming out of this one though, we are back into the hallway and then into the office. This one you guys have seen plenty of times before, but it's an office that Vogel and I share. I am super excited to get into our new place because I'll have an office for myself. And of course he'll have his own space too. But so we have my desk set up on one side, Vogel's desk set up on the other side, and then on the other wall that doesn't have a window, we've got a spare desk. And here we have another fabulous view of Johnsonville. This one in particular is so pretty at night. I absolutely love watching the sunset just like over the hill. And then watching all the lights come on. For sure gonna be like the biggest thing I miss about this house. So that covers our top level and our middle level. We'll now go downstairs to the ground level and see what we've got down there. Welcome to the bottom of the stairs! On this level we have things like the laundry, the kitchen, the dining area, the living room, and then the door to outside. Now, I will say that because, you know, we're moving house, uh, <laughs> this space is a little bit, a little bit less tidy than it normally would be. There might be stuff everywhere. Uh, so, no judgement, please. But continuing with the tour all the same. So, as I said, we have the laundry, the kitchen, over here is the living area featuring packing materials. <laughs> and then around the corner over that way is where we have our dining area. Starting with the laundry though, this one is the darkest and coldest room of the house because it doesn't have any windows that face the sun. You can see the lino that we have here. I'm pretty sure that's the same stuff that used to be in the bathrooms. Pretty typical laundry stuff. So we've got washer, dryer, sink, cupboard that holds spare towels and stuff like that. We also have a dead wetter. I see that guy every time I do my drying. We also have a cupboard under the stairs. It's got stuff under the stairs. Yeah. So things like the ironing board, gardening stuff, other stuff, camping chairs. Yeah. Coming back out of the laundry though and into our main area onto the kitchen. So this is another space that we had some work done on when we moved in. So we got the range hood put in, we got the cupboards installed. Splashback got put in as well. Again, if I can find photos of what it used to look like, I'll throw them up here. But you can see just a nice little kitchen. Since they ripped out all the trees next door, this place gets a lot more light. And you can also see how much dirtier my window looks. Wah wah. So that's our kitchen that's honestly a little too small for us. I'm looking forward to moving into a bigger kitchen, even if it's only a little bit bigger. It still has a lot more usable space, which is nice. And then from the messy kitchen, you can see the messy lounge room and the dining area. It's not usually this messy, but yeah. We actually have a few too many chairs for this area. So you can see we've got the two chairs back here. We have the two chairs over there. And over here, we have a couch as well. This is why we've decided we're gonna completely move out of this place and then stage it for selling because I know for us it feels cozy. For potential buyers, it probably feels cramped, so. So turning around from the lounge area, we then have the dining area featuring Pokemon bookshelf. Again, this is another part that kind of illustrates that we have a little too much stuff for this area because the dining table here has five chairs currently. It's supposed to have six. The sixth one is supposed to be here, but there's not really enough room for it. So that chair is actually at the bottom of the stairs over there. It's cramped, but it's ours. From here though, we have the door to outside. So window, door, door, window. We also have a door to outside in the laundry, but we're not going through that one for no apparent reason. <laughs> So you can see here we have my planter box, which is sadly now full of weeds more than anything else. 
down over this way, we've got one by Mint and by Rosemary. Looking over the back deck, we have what Vogel uses as our compost pile. And then coming from the back door, we can then go down and around to the clothesline. I was actually intending on finishing this house tour outside, but because the people next door are putting in these giant pylons, I think it might be best to do that here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my house tour of my current home, which is a lot messier than it normally is, which is probably an indicator that I should go and do some packing. <laughs> it's really not that long now until I move. With that said then team, I'm gonna go and start dealing with all of this. So thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos. Until next time. Bye.